One of the biggest challenges I've had is trying to wire up a 12 pin uh, caravan uh, connection for the trailer. The reason I had the challenge is that I found it very hard to find information on how to actually do it. So we'll go through that in this video. So the first thing to mention when you're wiring up the additional five pins is the original seven pins are exactly as you've seen in the past. Um, you wire them up as per usual, depending on the vehicle you have, you might have a plug and play, or it might be that you have to hardwire it up to the tail lights, whatever it might be. Um, but what we're really focusing on are these additional pins. So you do have uh, some uh, diagrams that are out on the internet around what you should be wiring for those pins. However, they're not entirely accurate for the for pins eight to 12, um, because it does differ from each different manufacturer of trailer systems or caravan systems, whatever it might be. So first point of call is to actually navigate to your, uh, trailer, your caravan supplier and see if they've got a wiring diagram for how to wire those five additional pins. Um, otherwise, um, certainly try and get some uh, experience or some feedback from Facebook groups um, with that particular same supplier. Uh, otherwise, you can try with the standardised, um, and I do that in quoted comments, standardised uh, wiring on the internet, but it does differ from, from van to van and from trailer to trailer. So how you wire it? Well, you wire it straight from the battery. So there's five or so pins there, um, depending on the wiring requirements. You're not pulling it from a tail light or anything like that. You need thicker gauge cables, uh, whether it be eight org, um, you can potentially get away with 10 org. It depends on the what you require on the other end as a power source, such as fridge, such as um, trailer brakes, what it might be uh, some variances there, charging batteries, for example. So what you really need to do is in your uh, car engine bay, you need to get a 12 volt power supply from the positive terminal and you run that all the way to the back of the car now I've got this going to a relay here so the power is actually oh sorry that's a fuse a relay here so the power is actually live only when the car is on and I've ran the switch that turns that relay on from my fuse box fuse box over there so I've run actually two cables you don't have to do that, but it is recommended to run a relay so that the power on the, those extra five terminals that you use in the trailer plug are only on when the car is on. Otherwise, you might flatten your battery um, when you've got your car parked and connected to the trailer. Then it's also best practice to have a breaker or a relay. Um, and then I've actually got this in this particular example running to a, an aftermarket fuse box. You don't have to do this. Uh, there's different variances that you can do. You can have uh, all different fuses on the top of the battery, um, all connected to the terminal, the battery terminal in, uh, independently, but I've chosen to go with this particular route. Now, it might look a bit messy, but what I've got here is a setup where I've got uh, a battery side and a uh, relay side, so I can power other things in the car. Essentially, you just need to wire the positive cables in a thick gauge, and I'm talking, in my example, I've used eight or six when appropriate, all the way to the back of the car. Now you can run these through the chassis. I actually ran it through the car behind the trim, just so it's a bit more protected by the weather and the vibrations of the car. And I've ran it out underneath. Um, there's, a, there's some rubber grommets underneath the, the car here. It might be a bit hard to see. And then straight to the trailer plug. So this trailer plug in particular has two sections it has your standard seven pin at the top here and then the five extra pins and in this particular case i think i've actually ran only three lines in here so based on the manufacturer of the caravan we're using we only needed to run three lines and so that's about it it's just running it straight from the battery um, and just trying to align with uh, the caravan manufacturer's wiring diagrams um, and that's how you wire it 